Well, howdy ho, Facebook. That's kind of cool. My hairline forms a hooded cobra almost. I can totally fucking see it. I just noticed that, like, the way my bangs are cut right now, here's the hood of the cobra kind of coming back a little bit. And then right here, here's the head of it. Huh. Interesting how that works. That's one way to look at it, I guess. What is up, though? But check this out. I got wands for sale on Etsy, so one was already bought. And so there's 19 left. The blue wand was already purchased, but there's still plenty of beautiful wands to select from. Um, right now, one of my family members is in Colorado getting surgery. And so my mom and dad are going to be out of town for the moment until my family member gets out of surgery. And also, it usually takes about two weeks to process each order so lo and behold thank you for uh noticing ben dobbins i really appreciate that that natel's garlic shampoo is the bee's knees you get the shampoo and conditioner you got trichoteria maybe your hair's thinning or you're losing your hair any one of the three, and I guarantee you, Natel's Garlic Shampoo has got you covered. I've been using it on my hair, and I just reshaped my widow's peak and then started using it completely on my widow's peak. More so on this side than this side, because this side is growing back in nicely. This side needs a little extra help, so... What I'll do is I'll part my hair this way, and on the areas that are not growing back as quickly, I'll focus the shampoo's amazing energy on that, you know. Uh, he might be, yes. So, there is a two-week processing order fee on there and I recently had to change my Etsy password because I forgot what it was the only other person I trust with that password is my dad and um, yeah so I got them wands in stock they are made ready to go and there's a beautiful little selection to choose from. In fact, I will link my store right quick. Booyah. Oh yeah, there's still a nice little handful of wands available. Most excellent. So if you're interested in purchasing a wand, here's the link to my store. With fresh wands, ba 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 booya. Now, if you click on the link I put posted in the uh, in the chat there, you'll see that there's my store with fresh batch. There were twenty wands for sale, but one person already bought one. They bought a blue wand, so now there are nineteen wands left. And there's a lot of people in chat, so, yeah. Thank you, Simon, for that. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Kai. That's what's up. Yeah. However, the wands just are going to start going back down to just 7 to 10 because that's ridiculous. If I do like seven wands every batch, that's literally 20 some odd 
30 some odd wands. So by the end of the month, I've made twice as many wands instead of doing one whole large batch. It's like a punk rock looking hairdo going right now. Fucking crazy shit, man. Of course, I can go from being punk rock to being a bit more professional by flattening the bangs out to just a wee bit. There we go. But yeah. This batch would be batch number six. Because last batch was batch number five, if I remember correctly. And um, unfortunately, I tried, once again, I tried so goddamn hard to list it as half a pound for the package, but Etsy only lets me type whole numbers. So the lowest whole number I could do was one. The package itself is not going to be one pound. It's less than a pound. However, the way Etsy has it set up, I try typing 001 or 002 or 00 0.5. The zeros would disappear and it'd just say five. And I'm like, no, no, it's not five pounds. Fuck off. So it's the lowest number that Etsy offers. It is what it is. But yes, Cobra Craft Ones does ship internationally all across the world from everywhere in the good old US of A to Canada to Mexico, Japan, Ireland, all over Hawaii. Oh yeah. You're basically being charged 30 bucks, so that's one with shipping, that's not bad. Considering the competition, like the professional made wands that you see on like the fan made wands, like the ones that the Harry Potter website sell, those are really excellent replicas, mind you. But they're made in the factory. No offense, but they're made in the factory. And these wands right now are being made in my apartment. That's a little at home business. What's up, Richie? Ah. See, I tried typing 0 0.5, and I don't know. It still told me I had to do whole numbers, so I don't know. I mean, I'll keep trying with with that because there's got to be a way to do it. Like I'm sitting here scratching my head, you know, going, okay, how the fuck do you do this shit? Well, don't feel too bad, David. I have trichoteria and I haven't picked at the back of my scalp in so long. So you can see like right here, I pick out where I've picked out my hair and it doesn't look good. So I keep my hair long to hide my trichoteria. And that's why I wear a bandana. So that way I'm not up here doing this number. But um, right now I have my hair tied in a braid that I did myself. And um, yeah. Hmm. Put zero in the labs and eight ounce in the box. That's a good idea, Simon. I'll have to try that next time. Again, this is only my sixth batch of wands. Each batch before that is sold out within the one to two days pretty easily. So doing it on an early weekday where most people are probably at home, this gives people a fair chance to buy them. And we'll take a look here. That's a cool looking shop, man. Eh? 
this is one, two, three, four, yeah, there's still 19. Cool. They're a little bit expensive, but the shipping ends up paying for a handcrafted one, not made in a factory. I literally take the time to methodically sand these and paint them and put them together. And word up. And you know what I'm saying? So it ends up being the same price if you ordered one online from any other professional wand shop. And instead of being made in a factory, it's made from an actual stick. And they have hair plugs and extensions and stuff like that. So if there's spots in my head where if I've picked so much that the hair doesn't grow back. That's my own goddamn fault. Trichoteria is a bitch, which is short for trichotillomania, or however the fuck you pronounce it, which is a hair pulling potion. Yeah. One of the reasons why I'll smoke a tobacco pipe is because it keeps my hands busy. It may be a disgusting habit to some of you, but. I can't always be playing the guitar to distract my hands. My bitch just died on me, so now I'm just using a zippo and punk matches. This batch of wands will definitely give me enough to do what I need to do. It'll give me enough money to take care of business and ship them out and what have you. I like that. Life's a hustle. Gotta get it. And seven wands takes a lot less time than 20 wands, to be fair. So if I made the batches just seven wands. Come on, you bastard. This right here is the oldest pipe in my collection. I've had it for a little over 10 years. Now I had to uh, message my dad right quick about the new password change and let him know that I got wands up and going. Cool. So give me a chance to check on. I remember right quick. I don't give too much of my personal life, but uh, but uh, you know, it always could be worse, so. Unfortunately, when you have trichoteria, you pick out your hair, you're left with patches of hair going back in unevenly. And I've already, it's taken me a minute to grow this out. So like it's taken so long that quite frankly, I don't wanna cut it. So it is what it is. If I made a beat, would you be willing to freestyle on it? Yeah, you could send it to me in 
in a private message, you know, give it a shot. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take this braid out right quick, just like that. Now, leaving the braid in there for just a little bit and then combing it out, it makes my hair naturally wavy. And the thing about braiding your hair is you don't want to leave it in for too long. Otherwise, it becomes one long dread. And then you got to cut the whole thing if you want fresh hair. so like i said there is definitely a two-week waiting process for each wand it may take more or less than two weeks to process and then maybe another week and a half to ship but so far the testimonial on my store when you read my store reviews not too many people are unsatisfied with the product so that makes me feel good it's reassuring so paying up maybe a couple bucks extra for a real wand you know what i'm saying not some factory made replica of an awesome movie wand but real shit and anybody who has a chance to get their hands on a real magic wand, you know what I'm saying? That's just an instant selling point. But, um, yeah, I feel good about getting another batch of wands out. That is most definitely where it's at. I'm not doing much but untangling it from the ponytail and lo and behold, there we go. Now if I want waves in my hair, this is how you do it. Leave the braid in for a couple days before the event in which, or at least a day or a day and a half before you go to the event in which you wish to have kind of wavy hair. And then when you take it out, you see what I'm saying? YouTube, when you take, and Facebook, when you take it out, it makes your hair kind of wavy instead of straight and sleek. That right there is a life hack. So you want a way to curl your hair without using a curling iron, burning the crap out of your hair. You can naturally do it just by putting your hair in a braid, leave the braid in for at least a day and a half, and then take it out and then lightly comb it out, uh, which is way better for your hair than using a curling iron. I'm just saying, people are covering their hair in obnoxious amounts of hairspray after they curl it. So, okay, let's burn the crap out of your hair, kill it with the curling iron, and then cover it in spray paint, or 
hairspray. And then they wake up the next day and they wash it all out and their hair looks like shit. And they're like, what the fuck? Well, it's because, you know what I'm saying? You want to naturally curl your hair, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you do it. It's a great way to avoid... Um, <clears throat> it's a great way to avoid burning your hair with a curling iron. It didn't take me too long to get those uh, those wands shipped out last time once they did get shipped out. But right now, um, a little bit of patience would be appreciated. And like, and I understand people are eager to get their wands, but you know what I'm saying? Family always comes first before business. Family and friends always come first before business. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm not going to talk about what's going down with my family personally. That's just none of y'all's business, but yeah. Do you have a feeling that uh, the person involved is going to be just fine? But, um, yeah. Surgery is never fun. I can remember when, I can remember when, uh, freaking, I had a cyst on my tailbone. Right? And, and I had to get that fucker removed. That was pleasant. But that doesn't even compel in comparison to what this uh, particular family member is going through right now. And that's all I'm going to say on that. I know how people on Facebook are, unfortunately. If I share anything in my life that's personal, people use it to make fun of me. And it's fucked. I was at my great-grandparents' funeral and got to ring the church bell for service. And... Me liking bells, I took a picture next to the bell, and I was very honored to do that kind of thing. And lo and behold, someone on YouTube made a video about it and put Mr. Garrison's retard alert to it and just ripped on me. And it was like, wow, dude, <laughs> you people suck. I mean, it's a small price to pay for being famous, but at the same time, did the person ever once stop and ask themselves, okay, how would it feel to be in that person's shoes? How would it feel to be ripped on like that, knowing I just went through something like that? I feel like shit. Exactly. You ask yourself if you'd feel like shit, and why do it to me? Why do it to somebody else? That's all I'm getting at. And like, if you don't like my videos, then why the fuck you watching? That's what I don't get. I, I guess all at this point I could say is, hey, thanks for the support.
Well, if you ordered a wand, it should be there soon if it's not already there. If you like a wand, then it would be on the next batch, I guess. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll take a look at that uh, later on, yeah. Seventeen. Ooh. Maybe there are a couple of ones bond. Oh fuck yeah, we got three orders. That's what's up. There we go. Shout out to Lucas, Christian Elm, and Tyler Thompson. Thank you for the first three orders. So there was 20, and there's 19, 18, 17 left. Damn. That didn't take long, now did it? <laughs> It didn't take long at all. Like as soon as I posted them, boom, within a day, there's already like three sold so far. There's no telling how quickly they'll sell out. If they sell out within the next two days, that would be beautiful. That's usually what I aim to do. And all the good reviews that I get are true testaments.
I guess these P2 douchebags are all about Jesus. And the thing that makes me laugh is they have a vendetta against me for practicing magic. It's so hypocritical. Like, hey, dude, what would Jesus do? Turn the other cheek. Right. But instead of stopping the harassment, you continued. And then the people who ordered wands for me used them to curse you for fucking with me. So, you're being kind of a dumbass, bro. I hate to say it. No, actually, I don't. I've been getting bullied and teased on YouTube for having autism for God knows how long. And, oh yeah, I know, 10 plus years. And I haven't let it stop me from making videos. I haven't let it miserable fucktards like you and your stupid troll group ruin my outlook on YouTube. It is what it is. There are a lot of good people doing a lot of good things on YouTube and Reddit. But then there's a lot of assholes on YouTube and Reddit as well. So, But if you choose to focus on the assholes that are on Reddit or the assholes that are on YouTube, then collectively it's going to make YouTube or Reddit look like a bad website. And that's the thing of it is there's a lot of people using Reddit to do good things, but you're choosing to focus on these assholes that make fun of me, and then collectively it's going to make Reddit as a whole look bad. And I hardly ever go to that fucking page because I could give four flying fucks less what they say about me because it's all bullshit. Now, getting tail is always nice, but I'd be more worried about being financially successful before I'd be worried about getting puss, to be honest. That's nothing against sexualities or anything like that, because I'm straight. But having more patience and being worried about more important things, that gets you better quality. You know what I'm saying? And uh, keep your eyes open. You know what I'm saying? You got a chick that likes you? Yeah. That's a potential girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? But you can't just rush into shit. Good things take time to make. Well, how do you like them apples? September's right around the corner. Oh, diggity damn. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six more days till September. Cool. Now, one thing I like about Etsy, as soon as my wand sales are sold, all the money is just immediately deposited into my bank account, which is very convenient. Very convenient. People don't like Facebook, but they love YouTube. And that's the thing of it. How is it any different? Because if you can use Facebook to make videos, you can use YouTube to make videos. You talk with your friends and you make and you comment on people's shit. How is it any fucking different? People will sit there and say, well, I like Instagram more than Facebook. Why? Well, because you can do this and this and that. Yeah, but you have to have it on a phone for it to work. You know what I'm saying? So it's a pain in the ass. You got to sit there. But it's so much easier to just go on Facebook and not have to have an app just to run the damn thing. See, to me, when you have to have an app just to run the damn thing, like I'm not judging people who have Instagram accounts because I have one strictly because my fans wanted me to set one up. They're just like, okay, here you go. Now, if I had the app on the phone, I'd probably post on it more often, but... 
No, I never really got into it. I'm more into the YouTube and Facebook myself. And quite popular on YouTube I am. Every so often I like to check my uh, subscription count. Give it, give it a gander. There we go. 7,351. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Seven thousand three hundred and fifty one subscribers on YouTube. Oh, damn. That's not bad. Not too shabby at all. Here, the fall wind is starting to howl in just a little bit. Yeah, summer always goes by too quickly, doesn't it? God damn. I noticed that summer seems to be the kind of weather and the kind of season that not too many people complain about. So naturally, summer always goes by the quickest. And uh, usually if like the first three to four sell out as soon as you post the bash, that's usually a good sign. It's a very good sign.
Alrighty. Sold my wands just in time, too. Some coffee grounds and some jelly. Just a little bit of water and that beer batter bread mixture. Give it a stir. Just a little bit of water. Beautifully mixed. Fucking phenomenal. It's basically the same recipe I made last night, but throwing a sprinkle of coffee grounds and those coffee grounds will bake right into that bread. Uh, Casper does have a lake, but uh, I don't know about swimming in it. Lake Alcova. Yeah, I don't know. Lake Alcova is probably a lot safer than the duck ponds, to be honest. But yes, Casper has a waterfall, Casper has a lake. And it's also got Crimson Dawn and Bear Trap and plenty of places to go camping and stuff like that. So as much as people love to go camping, I'm surprised that Casper hasn't grown as quickly, but it's starting to grow a wee bit. Put this goddamn bandana back on. Okay. So it'll help with the trichoteria so I'm not picking up my hair. There we go.
Yo, this isn't to say that I can't date, but to be quite honest, the last girlfriend I had was bullied into breaking up with me by the people who follow me on social media. So, and I don't want people to bully my next girlfriend in the same situation, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm not gonna let it stop me from dating. It just means I have to be a bit more careful on who I date. And I'll tell YouTube I have a girlfriend, that kind of thing. And she asks, well, why don't you show me off on YouTube? You're not proud of me. And I'm like, it's not that I'm not proud of you. It's not that I don't love you. It's because I love you that I want to see you get bullied and fucked with like I do. I mean, these trolls will rip on you for ringing a bell at a funeral because you think for one split second that they give a fuck about getting some chick to break up with you. You know, that's kind of... Like I said, it doesn't mean I can't date. It just means I have to be a bit more patient and careful with who I date. Because it's not fair to any future girlfriend out there that I may have. That, okay, for once in my life, I get something good going in my life. Something that makes me happy. And these assholes can't see me like that. They can't stand it. So they do everything in their power to fuck it up. Because they want to see me miserable. They want to see me talk about misery. And um, I'm not going to lie. It does kind of suck. But I don't focus on them. I focus on the people who tune in for this madness, you know. This is a cool little discovery. I'm glad I discovered it. You can't even taste the coffee in it, but you can definitely feel the caffeine from it. And you don't need that much coffee, just a little pinch.
Mm, Asperger's talking shit again. Excuse me. <clears throat> Oof. Definitely, definitely. Y'all could check out Death Mains Teespring. It's pretty sweet. Um, if you could plug your, yeah, dude, you want to plug your Teespring in the chat below. That way I can do a video on it. Or at least talk about it. Check it out, that sort of thing. Awesome sauce. See, I would play guitar, but unfortunately, my guitars don't work at the moment. The only one that works is the acoustic, and it's got one string missing. So, like right now, I'm not in the mood to play guitar, unfortunately. To get better at guitar, I want to be somewhat halted by it. Yes, I still have the Warlock. Mm. You already know. The best tasting shit ever. Malcolm Ramsey, that is a good question. I actually am going to grow my own hybrid strain when it becomes legal. Hold on a second. Tobacco seems to expand when you light it. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. 
lots of cool designs and anime and what have you. Hell yeah. So if you want to check out Death Mains Teespring store. Boom. All the designs were made by Death Main himself. Awesome supporter of my channel. So it'd be cool if you could show him the same, some of the same support. Not a problem, not a problem. That sounds good, Death Main Hell yeah. Just have to go live on YouTube. It's showing a bit. <laughs> 